Today we're gonna make a stuffed crust pizza, but we're gonna kind of do it in the style of a Mexican pizza. So first thing you're gonna need is two low carb tortillas. And you're gonna take the first one and spread some cream cheese on it. And once you spread the cream cheese on your tortilla like this, and I apologize if it's hard to understand what I'm saying. This is like the final phase of whatever cold I got a week ago. And uh, it's like so hard to talk, but here we are. All right, so I've spread the cream cheese. And now we are going to add some mozzarella. That was so weird. One of Sophia's toys just started quacking. <laughs> And I don't know if this is sausage or ground beef. I think it's sausage. So we're gonna add some meat and then mozzarella. There are some big pieces in here. I'm just breaking them down a little more. I got both of your books. Hey, thank you so much, Ashley. If you guys don't have my book, you can go to Amazon, type in Carefree Keto and get it there. I'm so glad you got them. Thank you to everyone who has gotten them. All right, so added a little bit of sausage. Now the mozzarella. You always do live videos at the same time. I try to. Some days I get on here about an hour later than this time. It really just, like Sophia kind of dictates it. If there's like stuff going on, maybe I'll be a little late. I'm ordering the book. Hey, thank you so much. Hello, I love your book. Hey, thank you, Jenny. All right, so we've got this. Now what we do, we just put the other one on top. How many grams of carbs would you consider low carb? Uh, let's, I'll talk about that in a second. So I'm kind of thinking, I wonder if we should just put this in the air fryer like this and let them get a little crispy. And then afterwards, we'll put the sauce and the mozzarella on and put it back in long enough to melt. Do you guys think that's a good idea? Like just put it in the air fryer like this for a couple minutes, take it out, put our sauce and our mozzarella and pepperoni on and then do it that way. Or should we just assemble everything now? Let's see what you guys say. Big Mac salad and strawberry salad this week was yummy. Hey, two recipes from the book. I'm glad you like them. All right, so we're gonna put them in first. That way it'll get a little crispy. And I really hate using my nice air fryer for these kind of recipes because we have the Ninja oven style one that literally looks like brand new and I'm trying to keep it that way, but I think we're gonna have to use it for this one. So let's go ahead and spray this with some oil, I guess on each side. Flipped it without losing too much cheese. And now we'll flip it again like this, I guess. All right, let's crisp up these tortillas. I honestly don't know how this is gonna work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I could use parchment paper, but I want this part to get crispy too. Let me grab something to drink. My throat is uh, begging for water or something. Yeah. 
I don't know how long you would bake these. I don't even know how long I'm gonna air fry them. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. Maybe five minutes at 400. So if you're baking, maybe like 10 to 12. So yeah, I would say 10 to 12 minutes at 400 in the oven. And then take it out, add your toppings, put it back in for another 10. All right, so someone asked about carb count and uh, what is considered a low carb. So to put things into perspective, the average American eats about 300 plus carbs per day. And you know, that's good. If you're an active person and they're coming from healthy sources, that's great. But if you're eating a lot of junk food and you just are addicted to potato chips and pizza and going and getting french fries from restaurants like and tortilla chips when you go to Mexican restaurants, <clears throat> cutting out carbs can be super helpful for your weight loss journey because most of the snack food that you mindlessly eat when we're looking at like obese Americans is coming from most of those carbs are coming from junk food. So if you go on a low carb diet, even reducing your total carbs to like 100 per day or 75 per day, your ability to sit on the couch and eat a whole bag of potato chips kind of goes away. So don't think of going low carb as like, oh, a certain amount of carbs makes you fat. It's more so there's like this trick you can play where by limiting carbs, you limit your ability to mindlessly put junk in your body. And that's where the magic happens. That's where the weight loss happens. So for some people, they have to go as low as 25 carbs. Otherwise, though, uh, if you're eating 75 carbs a day, maybe you could justify eating a whole bag of keto cookies and that might be 30 carbs, but it's like, hey, it's within my 70 carb limit, that's okay. So however, if you're the type of person who has doesn't have a lot of control over like just putting junk in your body, the lower you go, the more that's gonna work for you. And if you're not the type of person who like lacks self-control and you just wanna go low carb for other benefits, you could do 25 net carbs a day and really experience like the benefits of being in ketosis. Or you could take it up to 100 carbs a day and just be eating like healthy sources of carbs. And either way, you're gonna succeed. So those are my thoughts on like low carb. Just received your book, love it. Loaded sausages and pork chop bites are fantastic recipes. Husband asked for both again. A, I love to hear it. That makes me so happy. I eat 85 grams a day when I used to eat who knows how many, and I'm down 66 pounds since April, also keeping track of calories. A, I love to hear it. Yes, keeping track of calories is also very helpful. So weird, your voice is normal, then it goes so deep. Is it just me? I wonder if it, there's something wrong with Instagram, because I've been getting comments like that for the past like couple weeks now. Do you find a lot of the low carb pre-made snacks to have a lot of preservatives? Honestly, preservatives are not something I'm looking for um, on nutrition labels. Could you make any kid-friendly keto recipes too, please? It seems like everything I make is kid-friendly because that's the kind of food I like. Making the broccoli cheddar soup tonight. Hey, Mindy, that one's a good one. You're gonna love that. How long have you been doing keto? I started my low carb journey in 2016 and I lost 80 pounds. What are you making tomorrow? I won't be on here tomorrow. We are going out to, uh, to have our like family fun day. We usually do that on Fridays. All right, it's been four minutes in the air fryer. Let's check on this pizza. I think I could do about two more minutes. And I'm so dumb, I touched the thing to see how crispy it was and kind of burnt my hand. How long have you been making videos? I started keto in 2016, and then I started my page in 2018 because I was just so obsessed with keto and I was talking to everyone I knew in person about it. 
And then I realized you could do it on social media. So I was like, oh, even better. I could talk to more people. And, uh, but it was mostly pictures the first year or two. And then in 2020, I really became consistent with like posting recipe videos all the time. I love the guy on Snapchat that does your recipes. I didn't even know that was the thing. That's cool. Watching from Alabama. A hey, shout out to Alabama. Honey and lemon tea would be good for the throat. That's what Anna's been recommending that I do. All right, so I think we can go ahead and take out this pizza and put our uh, our toppings on. I remember your first avatar in 2018. Yeah, Donna, the, uh, the little cake on top of the blue plate. Do you think keto needs to be done strictly for losing weight and after that you can add things like almond flour to just maintain or also eat almonds when losing weight? It Everyone's journey is different. Like the answer to your question is uh, either way works. Like if you do strict keto where you're literally just eating meat and vegetables, weight loss is gonna be a lot easier, but sustainability is gonna be a lot harder because who can just like, it's gonna be hard to I have friends who tell me, like, they're just totally happy eating steak and vegetables every day, or a lot of people now do, like, the meat and fruit diet, and they say they're totally happy that way, and they don't miss, like, other types of food, but I don't know if I could do that. Like, I need keto baked goods and stuff, so you could go that route, and, uh, and when you're just not eating anything processed or anything fun, and it's literally just, like, real food from the ground or from an animal... It's pretty much impossible to be overeating, but it's just not that sustainable. All right, we gotta get this out of here. I may have let it cook a little too long, but uh, that's okay. All right, let's add our toppings now. So as you can see, this side isn't that crispy, but this side is pretty crispy. So it's sticking together pretty well though. So there we go. That's good to know. All right. Now we just start adding the rest of our toppings. A little bit of marijuana sauce. My hands are greasy. It's going to be hard to open this. All right, I need something to wipe the edge. Usually I just lick the side of this. So we're spreading our sauce. Now we can add some mozzarella. Oh, we should put seasoning on here. What is wrong with me? I love putting oregano. Really just oregano. All the other ingredients are salty enough. When I make low carb tortilla pizzas, I really just use oregano. And pepperoni. I think it would also be good to add like onions and stuff, but uh, I don't feel like chopping vegetables right now, so. Now we're literally just gonna put it back in for a couple minutes until the cheese gets bubbly. And I'm not gonna keep using the other air fryer. Just pretend I'm putting it back in the other air fryer, but I'm actually gonna put it in my basket air fryer now. Okay. 
And I'm checking to see if the pepperonis are gonna go flying. I hope they don't. But sometimes that happens. So let's see. All right, all right, scratch that. It's going back in the regular air fryer or the oven one. All of the pepperonis just went flying everywhere. But now we can just put it on the baking sheet, so it doesn't matter, okay. I guess we're gonna re-put pepperonis on here. I would have lost a bunch too. Where did they go? All right. All right, let's try this again. You know what? We'll put it on this one. This is the same piece of parchment paper from like three days ago. And I literally just set it to broil so we can make the cheese bubbly and then just start eating this. Because my, uh, my voice is like struggling. I love parchment paper. I do everything in the oven at 400. I've been on the fence about air fryers and so far pretty good. Yeah, parchment paper is a game changer. So many keto recipes that involve like baking cheese or cooking cheese or doing something with cheese, it's great because whatever falls off, you can scoop up and eat. Uh, this is a little higher in carbs. If you, say you're, it's like four net carbs per tortilla, you would be at eight and then say four from the sauce, you'd be at 12, one or two from the cheese. So you'd be like 13, but it is pretty thick and it's like calorie dense. So this is going to be, you would either eat half of it or it would be like an entire meal. <clears throat> And, you know, it's easy to eat a 15 net carb meal when you're doing 25 net carbs a day. If you do, like me, and you just have six eggs for breakfast, you can essentially have two 12 net carb meals for lunch and dinner if you're, like, if you're just carnivore for breakfast. Like, I don't really eat carbs at breakfast time. It's just eggs or a protein shake. Got your book yesterday. Hey, thank you. I hope you love it. What's the difference between carbs and net carbs? So total carbs are like fiber, sugar, alcohols, like all of that is included. Net carbs are the only carbs that affect your blood glucose. So counting net carbs is helpful for keto because you might be eating 50 total carbs, but only 20 net carbs, but you're still gonna be in ketosis. Whereas if you're eating 50 net carbs, you probably won't be in ketosis. But if you're just living a low-carb lifestyle, I wouldn't worry about net carbs. What protein shake do you drink? I drink the uh, Premier uh, Caramel ones. I hate the vanilla and chocolate, but the caramel is so good to me. All right, the pizza's almost ready. The edges of the tortilla are kind of burning, though, so I think we're going to go ahead and take it out. That was like two minutes on broil. And I think that everything will be warm enough too. Oh yeah, this is good. All right, let's take a quick picture of it. I, I didn't pre-make this, so I have to take a picture. Um, Let's put it on. 
Wait. And we're just gonna take a picture. You guys can see it. I think this is fine. I just want to put something in the background. That's fine. I like that picture. Okay, let's eat. Well, I'm super zoomed in. That's hot. Uh, dextrose, maltodextrin, and maltitol. So the middle has like cream cheese, mozzarella, and sausage. Let's get a pizza cutter. Where is my pizza cutter? This is gonna be so good. This is like what the picture should have been. Honestly, guys, I should retake this picture because it looks so much better like this. Give me one second. Adding cream cheese and sausage to the middle. Mm. Thank you so much, Brittany. I don't know if cottage cheese would work with this because cream cheese is a lot thicker. Yo, even without... I literally took a bite and got all the toppings off and it's still amazing because what's in the middle. Mm. Thank you, The Fetch. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the positivity tonight. That is what inspires me to get on here and go live every night. <clears throat> and not just towards me. 
come here and encourage each other. If someone comments about a question about their journey and I miss it, the whole point of these and the reason these started is because it's like a community where we can support each other on our journeys. So like, it's not a coincidence that in 2019, when I stopped having cheat days, it's like around the same time I started going live. It's like being in a community of people who are on the same journey is so helpful. And the more you guys engage and talk to each other in the comments and support each other, that is what makes these special. So, all right guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you. I believe in you. Have a blessed rest of your night. Bye.